the perfect times rather than just like doing a rushdown sort of technique. Right. So. Yeah. He's a giant brain, right? Right. Yeah. He's like. Uh, He's like the, the brain from Pinky and the Brain. Go. With yeah. the moon being Pinky. Perhaps? I had I had other uh, <laughs> I had other references I was going for, but I'll take that. Yeah. One. That's a classic. <laughs> So we'll see. He's not with the big stage choice. We haven't seen a lot of shooting the gun yet, Ooh, but okay. I'm sure we might. That's good coverage. Ooh, dangerous. Great fade back. Well, that's super dangerous to do that at high up air where we can just cover easily with the fair. Nice. DJ really not opting to shoot a lot of the gun. Doesn't go for a single laser right there. Nice. Well, oh, that'll do it. That and, and needs one more. Wow. There we go. That's a quick first stock. And I love the crowd. <laughs> the crowd is definitely for the Midwest man. That's one thing I love about the Big House. That's why we needed a, mid a Midwest major after all these years. Yeah. The Midwest loves representing themselves. An underrepresented region overall, especially in out-of-state majors. But at the Big House, the Midwest, uh, they come to play. Yeah. And I mean, it, it, we a lot of for a long time, the Midwest has been slept on as a competitive region. And to be able to show our stuff like this is great. So 4% already off to a good start. Ooh, just testing him with those nares. I like the way 4% uses that nair. A lot of like he'll he'll fade in with it and then fade out the last second. Just tap a shield, just cross up with it. You know, he doesn't he doesn't make it super punishable, but he makes it look like you should be able to get something off of it, which opens up a lot of things for, for him to uh, tries to bait a lot of reactions for him to deal with. J stuck in the corner. Ooh, okay, nice. 4% definitely looking for that high platform waveland for DJ to get out of the corner. But DJ not having any of it. Hold on. Ooh, again, baiting up, going for the high nair, just trying to cover any ledge jump options. Nice. We've seen uh, we've seen DJ get back for free a couple times already, too, 4%. You know, there's been instances where DJ's been able to get in on a quick illusion of easy to lead a ledge. Yeah. And if Puff just goes out there and makes a play, that could be a big turnaround. I would like to see... A little bit more aggressiveness off stage from 4%, but it's still a relatively even game. Yeah. He definitely is playing it much more conservative on the ledge than a lot of other puffs do. Oh, he outspaced that down air like perfectly, but I did not get the back air I thought I was going to see out of him. DJ, nice angle, just goes straight down. Very difficult to cover. Not the easiest angle to hit either. Oh, he actually ran out of oh, jumps. Wow. Nice. Empty land grab. Tomahawk. Good. I like that he's just going for a re -grab in that situation, too. Wow, and he gets the double jump with the back air. It goes yeah. all the way out. There it is. That aggressiveness I was just talking about. Yep. That's good stuff. Yep, the there you go. He went all the way off. Okay. Oh, Rest. doesn't go oh, for it. Oh, I guess that was smart. That wouldn't, that wouldn't have killed. There was, a, there was slight DI from DJ on it, too. Oh, he almost got that forward air as well. Yeah, yeah you're right. DI, it, it, it may not have killed. Yeah, yeah definitely he not. He only had 11%. So. so yeah, he went for that extra up air. Try to get the regrab into another up throw, which again, if you get that regrab and do the other up throw really good, you can still catch them. Yeah, you know, off off their di if they're not ready. Yeah, because they have grab. to essentially di in different directions for three immediate right three immediate moves. It's like boom, 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 up throw, up air, up throw. Oh, that's dangerous. Try to get the wave dash back grab. He actually could have on the inner too if he had just gone for it, but it was an early air. Oh, first time we've seen him go for a pound read in neutral. I feel like in this matchup, it's so bad for Puff that you have to make some reads like that throughout the set. Um, unless the Fox is just being, you know, over-aggressive and making silly errors. Does catch it right there for the first time. But DJ with a good DI gets out of it. Uh, right, he tried, to, he tried to read that jump. DJ knew he couldn't convert off the first dash tag. So he dashed further and he tried to read after it. <laughs> Reverse up smash. Gets him with the bicycle kick. Yeah, like exactly. Cristiano Ronaldo All the way on the other end. Oh, isn't it Beckham, man? Bend it like Beckham? We gotta get those references out there. Of <laughs> There's so many uh, football players we could reference. <laughs> nice. Well, that was super dangerous. That four smash on shield, up smash on shield would have killed. Again with the back grab. Oh, he doesn't go over the. Okay, it looked like he was setting up for the rest at first. Oh! oh! <laughs> Let's go. Snatchies. He said snatchies. He said that's mine. Snatchies. That's mine. <laughs> wow. That was sick. 4%. Oh, oh, and again with the back throw. Is he going to... Oh! He catches him. It's the reverse. reverse fair. Oh, but a little oh that's it. That's it. That is it. 4% is going to win. The oh, he's going to save him. Can he get him. back? He, he got oh, back. Oh, he saved him. Wow. Oh, 4%. That's so big. 66% racked up on DJ from that. But, I mean, that in any... It. In that situation, like 90% of the time, the Fox is dead. Yeah. And he goes for the pound. I thought he was just going to come out like a Nair or something. 
or a, a forward air to just I don't even think if he had just done nothing. Yeah, he was the pretty pound low. Bat, like, the pound hit him up. There we go. Gets the Another back chance. throw again. DJ didn't quite get the sweet spot there, but nice shot not Nudge. there to punish. Oh my gosh. I mean. Oh, nice. Actually, cover spot dodge and the roll in. DJ with a lot of these early side oh. Bs. Oh! Rolls up, and that is the first game. 4% up 1 0 against DJ Nintendo, looking to advance to top 64 on yeah. the winner's That side. was the first time he could be correctly. Fully read that that illusion. Look at Kanye Rez popping just, up. Take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> just grab that ledge, sit there. You know he's illusioning in, and that's a kill. That's a kill. Here we go. Battlefield's the counter pick. Uh, stadium, I'd imagine, was banned. That's a super interesting decision. Yeah. I, I would take him to is DJ. All right. I was going to say, is DJ going to use the gun more? He's going to platforms. He's going to the gun. That's, that's the DJ game that I think he needs to get into to take this set. Jay playing super patient. A lot of just running, stopping. Gangster laser. <laughs> yeah, 4%. Not really trying to be too aggressive with his back airs. Not trying to, like, push DJ into a corner too much. Uh, DJ not allowing himself to be pushing the corners at all because he's utilizing platforms so well. Just a lot of neutral. A lot of footsies He's so definitely far. doing the, the slow game right now. Oh. Uh, does knock the SDI on that, and that's all it took. Yeah. Very slow. Just racks percentage up. Takes 50 full seconds. Yeah. But he does get the KO without being in too much danger throughout the entire thing. And when you had him at that perfect percent, that like 60, 70, where up throw up air is just, you need the SDI essentially to be able to live. Exactly. Oh. He's going to ledge. Oh. Not that time. Oh, I was wrong. Oh my Sick. god, just the raw F smash. Oh wow, and a beautiful sweet spot from yep. DJ. 4% with a couple opportunities that he's unable to capitalize on. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> he's teasing him. <laughs> he's a he said, you want to come play? Come grab me. Come get me. Oh! oh! Just stands there. Wow. Not afraid of a little ball of fluff running at him on the ground. It's the ball of fluff in the air that you're more worried about. Usually. The balloon. Exactly. When the airborne is, when the balloon is airborne, it's 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 scary. That's when you got to be afraid. Yeah. When the balloon is on the ground, you're like, ah, you're just a dead balloon. Okay. He does cover the potential edge cancel. Nice. And the fair. There's the trade. That'll do All it. Right. That's exactly what 4% needed. DJ right back to the platforms, right back to the lasers. 4% not trying to have any of that. Oh, and he gets the, all right, he got the read, but oh. DJ's been DIing that random pound so well. Excellent, yeah. Yeah, second time he's really landed a, a great DI away on it. Oh, he was going for it again. He was in that animation startup for the pound, but uh, DJ with a great air to, to knock him out of it. Yeah, the more defensive that DJ plays against him, I think the more times he's going to try to go for that read. Yeah. Up throw, oh. gets the up, a couple up airs, three up airs. It's a lot of percentage racked up, bad trade, and the knots from 4%. He's down two full stocks. As long as he takes this stock without racking up too much percentage, though, he's still not in the worst position. He could still take this stock, take another stock, and potentially get two rests in a row, or just go for the first one. Nice trade. It's going to be a lot of percent that he takes on it, though. That's a, that's a what, 12, 14% that he took oh, on it? Oh, I think it's a little bit more, right? It's like Even, yes. 16? Seven, 18 or something? I don't it's know. a lot. All i got to say is that he's at in the 30s now, and that's already a dangerous percentage for Puff. Yep. Oh, empty. Nice. Good DI on it. Uh, Ooh, great power shield on that uh, on that up air. That would have popped him up. Yeah, that was actually – he said he was still at a percentage after that up throw where he could have rested safely without uh, guaranteed death. And now rest is off the table, but – Oh, one read. Get him off stage and get him one back air. Nice. DJ just playing it real safe now. Ooh, got a little, got a little greedy right there. Again, just going for the falling up air. Oh, and he missed time with the back air. But I like that him trade. going all the way out there. That trade's gonna do it. DJ with a solid two stock. Yeah. Problem is, he's uh, behind in counter picks now. You lose game one, yeah. you're behind in counter picks, and in a best of three, that's just like so difficult. Yeah, but in this matchup specifically, like if DJ bans, well, they went to Puff's FOD? best stage. They went to right. Puff's if best DJ stage. bans yeah. FD, or FOD, where is he gonna go? He's gonna go. He's gonna, I feel like he's story. gotta go back. He's gotta go story or battlefield. You go story if you want to just like get in his face. He's going because back because he was playing so defensive and slow, and story's mm -hmm. smaller. You might die earlier, but uh, rest will kill at zero. You know, yeah. you can still KO the fox. That's some really good analysis, webs. <laughs> where, 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 where are we playing this match? We're playing on Battlefield. Yeah, we are. I mean, that's what I was saying. You, you go to, I said one or the other. Yep. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to combo that near off the platform. DJ been converting pretty well off those. Ooh. It's just a lot of shield pressure hits. 
so far. DJ wants to just stand still and smash. That's what, that's what he wants to do right now. I love that. Yeah, there's just no pointless movement from DJ. Doing a lot of these falling up airs, too. Oh, he covered the roll back with a roll of his own, actually. <laughs> that's one way to do it. Roll yep. with him. He rolled a second before 4% did, and as a result, he's able to get that up smash off. 4%. Oh, okay. I don't know if he quite baited that uh, get-up attack, but wasn't able to get any punish off on it. Ooh, that was dangerous. Man, it's been like... Ooh, I was going to say, it's, it's been like 15 seconds since you saw any damage. Yeah. Not even the lasers. 4% doing an excellent job just avoiding them. So 4%. Oh, gets it with an air. Ooh, hold on. I was just gonna say four percent. Down air. Oh, I think he could have regrabbed off that. Oh my gosh. At the higher percentages, puff down air can be guaranteed combo into other things like up smash yep. and grab. Oh, uh, you have to get like the last hit of down air like super low on them, so they go into like that weird tumble state mm -hmm. that guarantees that you'll be able to get the follow up. I, I didn't quite see if he got it that time. And DJ racking up this percent little by little, hit by hit. He's already at 47. Yeah, every percentage he takes is so important too because once he gets to that magic number that he's looking for. Nice. That was good actually. Oh, Ooh. that was not good. 4% did a great job of waiting for the cross up on the air and then just grabbing him afterwards. Nice back air. Oh, there we just go. Stand there. That was a good way. He, he yeah. moved the Fox just so far off stage that he could just react. Uh, 54, uh, quite a bit of damage. Not too much, though. He can now still, up smash will kill. He can still do some stuff. So we haven't seen a single rest yet, have we? Uh, we have not. Damn. It's been a restless match. Yeah, which is huge for DJ to, to neutralize Puff's biggest threat against Fox. Yeah. So effectively. He's actually missed DI and up throw uh, twice, but both times it was at zero. Mm. Oh, just waits. Beautiful stuff. DJ, an excellent, excellent player at just reading his opponent's movement and putting himself where he needs to be to be able to punish them. Ooh, kicks. Ooh, four, yo, that was, he just turned the speed up all of a sudden. Yep. He went from zero to, <laughs> zero to 100. Real quick. Yeah, the quickest. I was trying to avoid that reference, but <laughs> you got me. Is it, I mean, <laughs> what, what do you expect from me, Wes? I should have said zero to 60. <laughs> Ooh. So he was looking like he was going to fake in that running grab and went for four smash, but good dash dance from yeah. DJ to stay out of it. 4% is landing a little bit more of his straight airs, but he's not con converting anything off of them. They're difficult to convert off to begin with. You see that 4% just coming in with a bunch of random aerials, and DJ just stands there. And you just up smashed. <laughs> and he got him with the, the reverse bicycle hit. Yeah, that's and DJ uh, just calling where he's going to be approaching from and putting himself in the right spot. Ooh, Ooh, great nice. wave that was a dash. Sick wave land out. Oh, and Puff's down smash sends at a super, super, super low angle. You yeah. get hit by that at that percentage. <laughs> no way you're coming back. The crowd is going super ham. Yeah, every KO 4% gets. DJ, super slow approach. A lot of I like the up tilt stuff right there, too. Mm -hmm. That move is deceptively difficult to deal with. Misses the pound and air dodges out of it. Back here's going to KO. Back here's going to KO, and that's one stock. Oh, he reads the roll. Oh, oh, he reads the roll. Oh, oh he gets burned. Does not get it. He's getting shine. He's very low shine. Jumps. That was a really bad side B. Oh, he still still That's jumps. Steal it. That's oh, steal it. and DJ, with that was a perfect final stock. It was. Uh, he got a little lucky. Four percent actually kind of whiffed. On yeah. the, it's it's hard. That's super difficult. Right. Once the tables once the tables turn like that. Once it went from DJ being oh. edge guarded to DJ doing the edge guarding, he did it. Perfect. He did exactly Shines what he needed were to do. Excellent. There was a pretty bad pound in there from 4%. He pounded like right into the edge. That's like the easiest fox shine of all yep. time. But the, the <laughs> weight after the air dodge on the second one was flawless. Yeah, that, that was, was great. super good. So DJ advancing top 64 through winter side. 4% drop.